So we have a 320X has already been tuned, uh, just so you can see what we're trying to get to uh, with the oscilloscope tuning. So I'm going to turn power on. This motor will oscillate uh, about once per second, uh, which is what puts a load on the motor, which is what you need for uh, PID tuning. Uh, without a load on the motor, uh, you can't properly tune it. So we'll turn it on, reset the drive, and you hear it reverse in direction. If you look at the oscilloscope, you can see this is what the test points are showing. I, this is, let me stop it. You can see the distortion on direction change and then the drive serving, uh, uh, or actually going back to command position. So let me go back to run stop, and there we go. So I'm going over quickly what each trim pot does. This is the P trim pot. And if you look at the oscilloscope as I turn it down, you can see what it does is it kind of increases the settling time. And this is the proportional of the PID. So you see as I turn it down just counterclockwise, it really, really just increases the settling time uh, to infinitely if you uh, turn it all the way. And there it is back where it's supposed to be. The I, you can see when I turn it down, uh, this is what controls stiffness on the motor, uh, on the PID. Uh, not a whole lot of this is needed with this setup, uh, but you can see if I increase it substantially, uh, you can see the slope right here increase significantly. So this is where I'm just turning it up, and you can see it. I'm going to turn it back down to where I have it which was a good setting, and you can see that slope is now minimal. Uh, it's damping very quickly. And lastly, we have the D trim pot. Uh, the D trim pot should always lead the P trim pot. Uh, if it doesn't, uh, it'll increase settling time, and you can see right here uh, the number of distortions it takes. Uh, those are uh, a significant time for it to settle on commanded position. So let me put it back to where it needs to be. And there we go. Okay, so we're going to turn the power off and just go over quickly how to set it up with an oscilloscope. Uh, so right here is your test point. The two closest to the edge are going to be ground. These two are going to be the test point. Uh, they are designed that way so you can just take an alligator clip and just put it on the ground ones, then take a probe and just stick it in the test point, and you don't have to have any hands at all for, uh, for testing. So we'll then turn power on. Uh, what you want to do is you want to turn the I trim pot all the way down. So that's that one, counterclockwise. I, and then turn your P and your D to about 9 o'clock. I remember the I, the D always has to lead the P. So when you adjust it, adjust it like this, just each one slightly going up until you get kind of a, uh, a good middle ground and then you can tune from there. So I'm going to reset the drive and this is all of them at about 9 o'clock and I turned, away, turned off. So you can see that it is way, way, way not doing what it's supposed to do. Uh, so we're going to turn D up. You can see that settling time begins to be reduced. Then we're going to turn P up. The waveform already begins to look a lot better. Now let's turn D up again. Right now I have D at about 3 o'clock, so it turns 180 degrees which is not unheard of when you're doing this. Now turn the P up. And right there seems to be about good with the, uh, uh, the P and the D. So P is at 1 or 2 o'clock, D is at 3 o'clock, and now we increase the I just a bit to lower that slope. You can see that that is decently critically damped.
And so that is how you tune the PID on the drive. You can see right here, we have our power and in position LED that are always lit. Uh, if I increase the speed on the, uh, the motor, uh, you'll see the yellow warn light come on. Just for a second. And that is a motor that will be properly tuned. So if you have any questions, uh, feel free to comment below or send an email or give us a call. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos, tutorials, and more.